Everybody, it's Lex from PDQ.com. You know, uh, building custom packages is a definite strength of PDQ Deploy. Now, when you're building custom packages, a few things obviously you need to know before you even get started. One, what are you installing? Okay, that's pretty basic, right? But what I'm at, what I'm mentioning is, you know, what I'm talking about when it comes to what are you installing? Are you installing an MSI? Are you installing an EXE? Do you need additional files? Those kind of things. Now, once you get that, okay, a couple of things. Let's just talk, we'll build a new package. We'll do an install step, okay? And we'll talk about the two most common, MSIs and EXEs. So I'm gonna go do an install step. And here under the install file, I'm gonna go select, in this case, I'm gonna go select an MSI. Now, the great thing about MSIs is they are standard. And because they're standard, we ought to put in the silent parameters for you. So if you see down here on this line right here, right there, okay? We've already, this is what gets run on the end user's machine. We've got the QN for quiet and no restart, okay? Which is the default for a silent install. Now, if you needed to change that, say you wanted to force a restart or something under MSI options here, you just expand that and go change that to restart always. And you'll notice now it's a front slash QN and a forced restart. So again, MSI parameters, pretty easy. You know, just change it on the options there. Um, so MSI is pretty much a slam dunk, easy money there. Now let's talk about something a little more difficult, and this would be more of the wild, wild west. And the reason it's the wild west is the vendors can do whatever they want with EXEs. So you notice right here, okay, the command line is just gonna run this setup EXE. So in this case, before you do this, you're gonna need to do a little Google foo, okay? Go find out what silent parameters there are for what you're gonna install. So let's say you were installing 7-zip, okay? The EXE version of 7-zip, they say it's a front slash capital S, and you know what? I believe the capital matters, so whatever they say, do it here, okay? Uh, I know, and it's been a while since I've done Firefox, but if you did the EXE version of Firefox, it's a dash MS, and that's for Mozilla Silence. So again, depending on the vendor, what you're gonna do, you're gonna need to put the right parameters in. Now, in some of these installs, you're gonna need additional files, like a config file, right? So in this case, if we're referencing a, an INI config file, right? I'd put that on this line right here in parameters, and anything I put in the parameters line, it is gonna pin down here, so right there, INI equals config.ini. If that's the way the vendor wants it referenced, I do still need to go and add that file. And you do that under additional files. Okay, and again, I'm gonna go grab that from the locate. There it is, config.ini. And so now I have that file that the install is referencing. Okay. So again, some of these uh, silent parameter lines can be very, very complex. So again, you need to work with the vendor. A lot of the vendors will have this online for you. So good Google Foo will take care of you. Uh, and then finally, if you're installing something big, AutoCAD Office has a bunch of CAB files, right? Now you could go and add them here in additional files, onesie, twosie. I wouldn't. The best way to do that is to check this box, which is include the entire directory. And that's gonna grab the directory, everything in the directory of your install file, so where this setup exe is, and all subfolders of that. And that generally will take care of you. You'll notice right here, I'm, uh, I got 16 files and 531 meg. So you know, when I selected that, I probably got all the cab files and the stuff that I need, so. Those are things you need to know before you build your package. And uh, again, a little research before you do it makes this job super easy for you. And uh, anyway, I'm Lex, thanks for watching.